Let's settle up here, gang. This is John, or Gaff196, and this is a continuation of my playthrough of West Dorado Double Barrel 100% Achievement Run. So whenever you die, you know, you, you, you come back like nothing happened. Um, so we're playing as the brother here, still. Don't need to kill the uncle now. For now. Um, what do we have available at the moment? I know I want to do Mistress to Rancher Bob. I want to do the Rancher franchise. And I guess we'll do Fort Motors on their side. So let's go ahead and do that. I need to requisition the buffalo, right? Right. I think Rancher Bob's still in disarray, so I have to salvage him a little bit. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and set that up. We just have to win proper. Eventually, I'll do this no hit. Usually, the best thing to do is stay in front of the buffalo if you want to do no hit. And we got it. Um, okay, great. And that achievement is Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. So now he gives us $300 and a clue. No problem at all. So let's talk to her again. Okay, we still need to go to uh, Santa Ana and get those Hattie hats. Let's head back here. I believe his uh, ranch, yeah, it's now since salvaged. Yep, here's this one. Okay, great. Um, so now I'm going to go quick stop over to the oil tycoon. And the reason we're going to do that is so I talk to Miss Tress yet another time. It's just a forest. This should be the way to Whale Tycoon. Head in here. Uh, I guess you... Actually, that's a decent idea. You can come in through here and just... A sh it's a shortcut, I reckon. Should be money up here for me, too. Maybe we'll buy a house in this one. It doesn't matter. Eventually, it doesn't really particularly matter. There's the oil tycoon. And there we go. Okay. Now I can just blow those guys off, but instead we'll actually, uh, we'll do something different with, the uh, the beef heads. So I've, I've sufficiently talked to Miss Tress, and we also, you know, grab that additional, uh, teleporter. These guys also say nothing particularly of note. See, they, they even tell you to pull a gun on them. There's a lot of hints that say, hey, pull a gun on the oil tycoon. Let's go to Santa Ana, too, while we're at this way. Okay. I mean, I'll defend myself. I mean, come on, let's... That's stupid. Let's keep it rolling here. This is kind of a roundabout way to get there, but get there we shall. Yeah, I gotta go down here. I'm relatively sure to get to Santa Ana. 
This is at the end of town. Yeah. This should be, yeah. Now I'll have to talk to Ms. Had, our haberdasher friend here. Uh, let's make some money real quick. Not interested. It's ten dollars. Let's uh, slam down real quick here. I'm not gonna cheat. I'll play for real. Oh, uh, okay. <coughs> we'll check this and see if we get the jack. No, we didn't. I'm rolling ace high, so I'm uh, down for the count here. Unless they want to check. They're just gonna check. Okay. Two pair. Two pair ace high. And we'll go for the number of the beast here. Um, let's try to take him off something. Oh, all, all the guys are interested. Okay. Nothing doing. Just a pair of sixes. Ace high. Let's try to steal it. I'm ludicrously confident in this hand. Huh. <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> and here's why. Uh, that's an up and down. Let's, uh, let's check it. If they all check, I'm, I'm into it. Up and down refers to the straight draw. So I have a 6, 7, 8, 9, so I can get a 10 or a 5. A uh, pair of sevens is not a good run here. I'll check this all the way out. Trip aces, new. No. Let's see something I can play with. Bet you the pot. Two kings. You're just getting rid of one, and just getting rid of two. <clears throat> Let's check it out. Okay. Still not where I want to be. That is to say, up. That one, I'll... Give me 160. Four times the pot. Let's just go for trip tens. Yeah. Let's try to put these guys all in. Now, going all in here for me is a bad idea, so let's let's take it down a, a Winnipeg. Let's go for 101. That sounds nice. Okay, we're sufficiently up here. A pair of fours are throwing in for 70. Uh, proportionally, 70 is a lot, but I'll call it. You're just getting rid of one. You're keeping everything tight. AI is interesting. I'm. I got nothing here. We'll check it out. Yeah, Trip Kings. The guy who goes. Woof. All right. Staring down the barrel and nothing. We'll fold that. Seventy. Let them play with each other's money. That is to say, they're all, you know, up with me. Just a pair of aces there. <laughs> Flush draw. I'll look for the flush. Call the 20 there. Double the size of the, the ante, so that's a really an outrageously small bet. <clears throat> no flush here. Uh, I'm willing to bet one of them has a one of them has a pair, yeah. And that's prototypical to see. That was that was fine hand to get out of. I wasn't very committed. Um, that hand's nothing doing. <laughs> I could try to overbet them and, you know, abuse the AI, but you have to do pretty big, uh, abuses to, uh, get one over on them once they get higher than, like, the five, where you just steamroll them. Okay. This is formidable. Let's, uh, let's go double pot. a pair of tens. It's not really high enough. So we'll have to overbet here. Try to steal it. 
I will bet the entire pot. That might be enough to scare some. Yeah, two pair. Yeah, you, you got me licked. Just check it. If they'll check me, and then I'll check it out and see what I can grab here. Well, let's keep the, the queen and the nine, just for funsies. Didn't pan out for me. If they want to check all the way around, I'll take it. Yeah, we're just going up against queens. Generally, you just expect you're going up against a face pair or a two pair. Sometimes trips, too, you'll see. Put you in for the pot. Probably have to go all in for this one. A pair of jacks. Uh, chance to do it. Let's uh, signify the weak hand and check. Raise 110. Not going to call that. Yep, trips. If I get something like trips, then I'm happy with that. We're going to go for the five. Is it likely? Absolutely not. Raise zero. This game's really stupid sometimes. I just want to take all of your money. If I go all in, do you think anyone will call me? I think yes, they will. We'll play weak here with just the checks. Everyone's playing playing pretty pretty meh. Let's get two kings. <laughs> you just raised me 150. Obviously, I'm gonna push with a full house. Uh, six, seven, eight. Uh, I'll call 10 with that. But we'll play this one tight. Yeah. That's practically the same hand. I'll check it. I mean, if they want to check, I, I won't put in for literally anything. Yeah, trip queens versus trip fives there, too, I saw. K and a Q. We'll check it. Right now, I'm operating on a loss, but I anticipate we might come back. Parifies, King Kicker. Um, I could overbet and bluff, but right now I'm a little iffy on the whole thing. We're just going to check around. Trip aces. Not a good thing to run into. Staring at the flush. I got him for 40 here. Go 30 more. Yeah, I thought you might call. I'm gonna bet the whole barn. This will probably push him right off, but... That's what we're talking about here. Their stacks deplete. As I play a little bit tighter than normal. Um, let's push up 50. Let's go 50 more. I've got absolute dick. I'm gonna keep one ace. <laughs> They're already all in, so I'm checking. <sighs> that hurts to lose to that. Why? These guys are maniacs. <laughs> Lucky sevens. Lucky sevens. Let's go three times pot. Could have kept the ten. Didn't need to. I don't know if they shove, but I'm just going to go ahead and, and put in more 50. Ouch. Sucked out by a full house. Give me a pot. Or keep the one face card. Two pair king high is, is solid. Enough that I feel good about it. Put you in for the pot. Shove. Okay, got one. Back to where we were. Flush draw. Flush draw. Let's 
do another 40. And now, do we go for the king, or do we go for the flush? The, I mean, the answer, statistically, you should go for the king. Or I could just go for both and go for the straight flush. Um... You know what? Screw it. Let's see if we get it. No. I get another eight. He got, he got two kings. He, he kept one card and then he, he got the second king. That's not a huge deal. Let me check this. I, I can hammer away for the flush. Maybe it'll give me the confidence I want to steal everything off. Two pair, nine high. See what they like four times pot. Sucked out here. Better two pair. That does happen occasionally. I'll call ten on that. I'm just calling ten. I'm in a seventy. Let them do the betting for me. We'll keep the two faces. Two pair. Two pair has uh burned me a couple of times thus far. Let's put all of you all in. Man. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. We got a king. Something to go off of. <laughs> another two fair. <laughs> Likely another death knell. I'm gonna push the pot. You know what? Uh, I'm actually shoving. No. We'll push the pot. I'll just flat. Oh my god. So we're gonna have to go all in and play super aggro. I'm shoving now. Time for action is right here. Just give me a pair. All right, I got a pair. Action skips me here. Well, that's a, <laughs> a vague wash of relief. Would need the nine here. Um, I'll flat call the ten. Let's just stare down the two upper faces. We'll leave the 10 dry. Nothing doing. Probably gonna bail out here. No reason to shove. Oh, right, I could skip this. Whoops. Two fours, a showing. Pop that in real quick. Sorry, my laptop was on, and uh, I was watching a Twitch stream. Yeah, I'll just flat call that. Pot's getting big enough. Call 22, sure. Keep the fours. Sometimes they can be perilous, but I'll, trips is nice. Let's go 100 over your raise. Finally, I get some. <laughs> Barely back to where I was. Call 20 with that. Call 50 with that. Keep the faces. Let's keep the king and queen. Nothing doing. Not super pot committed here. This is a, this is a place where you ditch. But if they let me check, I'll take it. It's a sad day when a pair of fours wins. We'll just check. I'm not super happy with a pair of fives and a king. Call 145. No, I have nothing. 
and I would have lost to a very powerful straight. I'll play with 20. Gets rid of 4, that's good. Gets rid of 3, that's good. Gets rid of 2, that's not great. Keep the two high phases. That's generally my strategy. I don't know if I would consider it to work. Two pair with a five. Gross. Now the question is, do I go for that four? I'm not calling 40. I want a straight draw. I didn't even care what, what happened. Let's go crazy. Let's overbet. <laughs> That's what I should be doing, is just trying to steal blinds, but... I'll overbet here, too. I'll overbet with something here. He thinks I have nothing. He's wrong. He's already on. Wow. Wow, that hurts. Yeah, I'll happily call 20 there. Let's go for trips again. Trips sucked out by trips. Pair of eights, that's a doozy. Two pair. Two Qs and a jack. Give me those blinds. You don't want them. It's a rude way to just grab 40, by the way. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll call 30. But I was playing, actually, play the game, and then I get sucked into playing virtual five-card draw. Man, I'm dumb sometimes. But now I, now I want to win. This is gambling at its finest here, folks. I'm not playing with a pair of fours. Starting off with a pair feels good. Double pot. Double pot feels viable. Both get rid of two. We'll just check it out. Yeah. A little bit higher than me. Yeah, sure. You know what? I'm low. I can stand for a big one. Go ahead. I'm 60 in. Well, 70. Give me... Give me... Sp yeah. Now, since this is such a small shove... They'll probably call the shove. Low pot commission. Well, let's see if we can make magic happen twice. <laughs> That's stupid. Let's let's just double the pot. That's tragic. I'll check this piss poor hand when they're so low. Then I'll worry about stealing blinds thereafter. I don't want anything. Just give me a king. That's... I'll take the bullets. Someone's got to bet something here. There we go. Thank you very much for that additional clue there. Wooey. So that took a while. That was something of an interlude. Fifteen hundred. Now remember, this is one where we know the guy's gonna cheat us out, so I might be willing to just shoot him dead. Let's go. 
these are always easy. We've already seen us do some of these. These guys just want to take them. Got so much of this game left to go. Okay, just barely saved it there. But remember, I can't take a hit. Keep that in mind. Oh, sorry, gang. Okay, now I just got the Be Prepared achievement. Okay, so now we have that ready. Okay, so that was the wrong time to pull it. So I guess that's kind of scripted there. He just takes extra money. So let's head back to there and get some extra money real quick. I don't know if it'll let me... Yeah, it doesn't let me say, hey, you cheated me. So I guess you actually can't uh, prematurely do that, even if you catch it or, in my case, know about it ahead of time. Temporary ban from hats. I don't use hats. Do you not see my luscious tresses? Shoutouts to Miss Tress. All he ever does is talk about his baby. Oh, so I just lose my opportunity to pull the gun on him? <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, man. I want to plug him up twice with a, <laughs> my dualies, but I suppose we'll let him go for now. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and start up that Rancher franchise. Pretty much everyone's down to do it, just FYI. We'll switch to the single gun, because he just wants to... He just wants to shoot. Okay, there's that one. Now we'll go see Mr. Johnston. The devil inside him. There's that camera. And a scorpion there. Is that Johnston down there? Oh, Richard. Richard, Richard, Richard. Where the hell is Johnston? Oh, there's track of these guys. These guys are all incredibly amenable. Since we're right up here, we'll go ahead. So now we just have a, a few things to, to go about. I'm just, of course, going to let them pretty much shoot away at each other. Lest I be uh, considered a traitor. Uh, which can happen. Mind, I do not have a hat. The 
winding chaos of battle here. I'm just collecting money off the corpses. And of course reinforcements come down for us. Final hurrah. Oh man. I didn't see it. That's fine. That's fine, not a big deal. We don't lose anything but money, so. Before I head back and do that, I may procure. Something to better myself. Here's Bell. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing what he's supposed to say. I'm pretty sure he's just in the first water. Okay. Great. We we did it. <laughs> I don't know what according to Hoyle means, but it's probably good. This is another war again. There's the Buffalo Incorporated. Alright, I'm gonna go with them. Let's go. Um, and I do want to try to ensure the survival of every one of these gentlemen. There's another rancher, though. There's Mr. Johnston. This is the Bandito meeting spot. Where the hell is Johnston at? I want to try to ensure the survival of all these gentlemen. So we'll switch to the single. far so good. Okay, this is working out. They all have a, a couple hats, by the way, but they do not pick up hats. Okay, we get Rancher Mansion and my Rancher's Keeper as achievements. I think my Rancher's Keeper means all three survived, so I think that's why I got that. Uh-oh. Let's go get Mr. Richard. And I imagine something horrible has happened. Ar arson, yet again.
You gotta put him down proper, you know? Give him a send-off. Let's head back down to Fort Motors and see what we can do. And then after that, we'll look into avenging Mr. Bell there. Uh, part of me wants to consider going to buy the rifle, but I don't proper need it. Let's just try to keep my... My hide safe. Gonna stay up here and then run down here riskily. Let's hope there's not too much friendly fire. Now I don't even know what hit me. You can't. You, it's really hard to see what can hit you. And <laughs> playing as the brother is kind of risky here. We're doing a, I wouldn't say a tough one, but a relatively tough one. The tablecloth, that doily literally just looks like a mass of TV static or like a missing no. <laughs> Let's stick with uh, a faster reload. Alright, let's continue trying this. You know, m money is not that valuable to me, honestly. And I will continually pick some up. I don't want to get shot on my pals. Well, I've been in the military, like, a little bit. That's a risky spot. Yeah, elicit a scramble. That's perfect. Whoops. I shot the wrong way. Well, I don't want to be a deserter. I don't actually know if there's an achievement of that either. Oh, man. Just above. It's always a risky shot when... Your enemy is aside you, and then you take that shot as well. We're also effectively playing hard mode here as a brother. You know, no hats. We're not playing it on hardcore mode, however. Once you die, you know, everything's over, and it fades to black. Well, that second-to-last scramble there will uh, try to abate it a little bit better. To the chief and his uh, number two kind of bounce. That was uh, risky, but sometimes you got to take risks. I'm just going to keep it tight down here. Basically, the idea here is to shoot them before they, they can get in a position to shoot me. Sometimes easier said than done. almost a little dark, honestly. All this Indian death is definitely giving me a pang of, pang of guilt here. It's almost like in-game there's something I could have done to prevent this. Safe from the savages. Maybe we were the savages the whole time. And now a lot of quests that could have been completed are, are thus pretty much done. So let's go ach perhaps achieve a new rank. I was instrumental in our victory against the Indians.
I don't know if there's anything else. I don't know if uh, the oil tycoon has also moved in there, but since the oil tycoon is dead, what happens now? This is Coyote Pass right here. Tough sell. Playing as the brother here. Sorry, buddy. It probably wasn't you or me, but I decided that it was you or me. Now the remains of the Indians are pretty much no more. There might be a couple stragglers somewhere. So this, this is uh, a little bit dark, but I guess I have to go on a one-man excursion to eliminate the remainder of the Indians. No reason to grab that, but useful exercise, if only for memory. I could, um, you know, feasibly do the blood port tactic where you just kill myself and teleport back home since money is not really too much of a of a useful thing in this particular run. And despite that, I still played my butt off in poker. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the mine and then go from there to the right. That's the last outpost of the chief. So mine. Whoop, let's stay away from the coyote. You know, I actually, like, naturally don't say ki coyote, but I like somewhat ironically saying coyote. So I, I was trying to lure him out of that upper spot where I couldn't get a beat on him. Where are they? Those Indians. I guess maybe I went up too high. I thought it was right next to it. Maybe it's to the right of the graveyard. But that doesn't seem right. This will just spiral me downward. Is it here? Oh, right. Yeah, this is the mine entrance. That's where I want to be. All right, that's enough for that. Who are you even shooting? This is probably like 10. We can actually take this quest now. We get, we just have to do an alternate part of that quest where we tell the wife that they're basically better apart and um, that we don't want to deal. Because he wants just her to remember him as dead, thinking that, oh, hey, it doesn't matter. Clabbering my way through there might be a little bit of a pain, but... I can probably speed my way through here. It's relatively easy to avoid... ...to avoid these guys. I don't even have a pistol drawn. There's my buddy. Don't particularly need him, however. The bats clearly are on my side. I'm just kind of hoping by my gut that I'm going the right way here. Which I'm not. I know he was... We had to take like a turn and then he was northerly.
well. <laughs> Alright. Looks like some beef heads want to come with me. Uh, we'll actually use them uh, along this way as well when we uh, get some new deputies for the sheriff. It's Petey's pickaxe, but I... I want to find the good old minor 49er here. I could probably just execute them. They are certainly not my friend. I wonder if I can lock them up. That'd be fun, huh? I wish you guys could go in jail. Because it's gonna get wild. They're, they're not my friends right now. Um, but maybe they will be. Come to them. I'm gonna head up here and do that minor quest real quick. But let's have the beef heads have a good old fashioned shootout. I'm completely okay if every single one of the beef head dies a miserable death. Alright, um, now that I have a, a semblance of a map drawn out for in here, let's see what we've got. No, we gotta go this way. No use with the hats. Take him with me. Yeah, I'll help. Sure, why not? Clue for the murderer, which I don't really need, because I could easily just take a peek. slipped and fell into here in the bottom of the desert. Conveniently, it's pretty easy to run from enemies. Oh, this is the snake. Yeah. So there's one. Uh, w again, we don't need that. I'll go through that for that later. question is, where's this blasted miner? This, I believe, is the exit, which... Ghost Miner, who's literally just Bender from Futurama. This is the Beefhead Shrine, right here. I forgot they didn't like the ghost, actually. To go up here and then still beefhead territory. There's Petey, sure. Bender from Futurama goes ahead and gives us yet another useful clue. I'm not finding the miner quite the same way that I like. 
So let's go ahead and grab the miner's hat real quick because I am pretty dumb. All right, he already he already sent me in for the quest. Whoops. Okay, okay. We'll head in here, grab that specific date for the train. Okay. There we go. Very simple. We... I can do that, the train quest now, but we won't. That'll be to unlock the sister. We're just playing as the brother right now. Actually, I suppose we should. I guess, actually, that doesn't affect me at all, having a miner's head. I don't know why I did that. I guess the brother can't use this to any level of effectiveness. Interesting. And stupid. As you can see, though, it's a pretty quick quest, so it didn't really hurt too much to not do. Let's head up here. Past the wolf carcasses. Okay, I think this is the right way. might be a bit of trial and error, but we'll get there. Right, there's the letter. Okay, found it too. So this is good. This is a good thing here. Now, I kind of wish I had him to carry me out, but that's fine. What matters most is that we found him. So what, did I already tell him? Yeah. I'm just gonna tell her that she died. That he died, rather. And again, keep in mind that that secret spot is right down here. I believe, yeah, I believe it's right there. Pretty easy to miss if you don't have the miner's hat as well. This would look really funny if I had the miner's hat on. Hat that I can't wear, thanks for that. An immediate death. The shotguns can be kind of iffy, so be mindful of those. I should have gotten the, st the stain in the mines one. Oh, I guess I gotta go back in and tell him that I told her. Oh. Oh, I see. They're not immediately aggroed onto me, which weirds me out a little bit. Whereas these guys are having a hissy fit. There's the ladder. Run back through here. This game's an assortment of fetch quests, but it doesn't really get old to me. It is really, really enjoyable, despite the, the NES-style pixel art, which I find endearing. Uh, there we go. We got better apart. You're a bad person. And I mean that not only that he's a bad person that he lied to his wife, whether or not they're they're better apart or, or whatever. I mean, he's a bad person. Just he's bad at being a person. He's bad. <laughs> Don't eat the rats and the bats. Do something better for yourself. That was a close call with a brick wall. down this way, right? Sure.
Oh, I cleared out that train tunnels with the ghost buddy. I forgot that that train master let you do that. And uh, we also have uh, the Sherlock achievement twice now. Let's head back to Rancher Bob's. Actually, no, we gotta go to the Oil Tycoons. Now he wants to get revenge, but I still gotta find Miss Tress. Did I not talk to her at Rancher Bob's? Maybe I'm, I'm gonna miss out on this whole achievement. Whoops. Onwards and upwards. Alright, so I didn't let him go crazy, but I think I, I don't think I needed to. I do want to talk to Ms. Tress, however. Provided that somehow she's still alive, which is a very possible chance she is not. Just, I like zooming away on the horse. Let's head over to the sheriff and she should be here. Okay. Okay, so we got Miss Tress with with Rancher Bob. But I still have to get Devil and Miss, Miss, Mr. Johnson. Still need that one. I still have to do, I will have to do the Rancher franchise again to get the other achievement, since there are two outcomes. One is agreeing with him that, uh, oh, well, he, you know, who, who cares about the other Rancher that died? Doesn't matter. And basically let him, you know, on the path to ruin. Doesn't really matter. So we got that. Let's go ahead and at least start up the Transcontinental Railroad, Railroad quest. We'll grab my sister this run. So that one's really easy since we have all of the boys in one spot. They should all be amenable to helping me. I keep going back to Rancher Bob's. He's the oil tycoon now, I forget that. Now I'll have to go through numerous screens to get to him, but I'll be able to get all three in one shot. I ought to be able to. Maybe Bob won't go, but the other two ought to. Okay, well, I... I suppose I did not think about that in the proper way. Uh, in fact, I guess I won't have a good way to get that now. If I had the miner extracted um, from the mine, obviously, he'd be willing to, to go. You'll go. He's not amenable to that. We can do another banker job. Do this one real quick. Since this is yet another relatively easy one uh, to set up. Because obviously we uh, set him up so he was upset with us in the last run.
Let's do it. Even though you stole money from me. God, I love the dual pistols. They completely offset the need to be good at aiming, which is useful in this game. Let's sit back over to this side. And we got that, no problem. Again, another perfect one. Come by any time, he says, after he swindles me. Quest fail. Can't go to the, the Oyal Tycoon if he doesn't exist. Okay. Well, it's not that he doesn't exist. It's that I, you know, murdered him. Actually, another actually on top of that. I didn't murder him. I don't think my uncle is willing to work to help with that, so I guess we're just not going to get the sister this run. Nope. Not going to work out for us at all. Dead Fort Motors did the Indian camp. I don't... I can't do Weird West because I killed the Indians. Can't salvage the water. Go back to the station. Is there? I don't think there's any other miners. Ah, uh, looks like the uh, Burger Boys settled down. It seems like they just do that. One of the most fun things about this game is you can literally just accuse everyone. of murder. And of course we know what our guy looks like exactly. So I can go ahead and beat the game as the brother real quick. No, I don't want the shotgun. Let's grab the rifle. Why not? I've got the money. Home stealer. The rifle also comes with that and elongates your size. You cannot hatch shot with the rifle, <clears throat> but it will plow through multiple enemies in a line. <clears throat> We've got some brotherly stuff to do. <clears throat> Just remember, Crimson Bandana Grey Hat. Oh, right, I could just bypass this, huh? Ah, uh, benefit here. Pretty easy to mow down some enemies. Although I, I do appreciate the, the dual pistols most of all. Alright, I gotta go in there first. But it's useful for sniping those scorpies. I heard a bolus go off. Which way? All right, I need to get on the other side and then come in and then, uh. Oh, well, we're pretty much done here. We've already done the achievement to uh, explore everything. What the heck? Sometimes I'm just real foolish. That'd be really mean if there was a scorpion there. Right here, uh, inside of that autumnal tree. 
Alrighty, let's squeeze our way in here. Keeping in mind that if I die, we will have to do everything over again. Ugh. Ugh. I missed. I don't know if that'll actually carry over those uh, switches being pushed. Let's find out real quick. Uh, I certainly have my doubts. Oh, that's a risky business there. So what you can do here is I could just be risky. Much akin to the business that I just mentioned. Or I can elongate my vision, like so. enough to get me by there. I say, you're, you're coming right for me. There we go. I don't personally know how to weave around all of the scorpions proper. Though there certainly is a way to do that. So we'll just do the a little puzzle here. We'll have to go through his entire cadre of goons upcoming. Again, these guys do not mind losing their hats. I'm just sticking to, uh, the fastest firing weapon. Let's shoot right back up. Didn't actually have to reload there, but I did anyway. But yeah, we're just gonna keep tight with the one weapon here. I, I guess I hit it and then hit it again. Whoops. Were this a speed run, that would be a pretty bad one. Um... I do want to end this run soon, so if I die here, then that's it. Um, we'll pick it up on the next one. That'll be our effective cold open. guys do not like shooting each other. The double hat shot, although extremely excellent. Uh, oh, would not, did not help me. Just flatly. One on the left. to uh, a fast weapon. Oops. Okay, great. That's one more through. To reload everything.
Because horse combat can be kind of risky. Switch to something a little bit better. Lost. Oh, I didn't. Never mind. Whoops. Now he's more competent with a gun. You just gotta get one shot on him. Of course, we get some, some fanfare through the lights, but it could all end here because, you know, the final boss is, well, he's still the final boss, but we'll go up against him with a regular shot. I just cannot get close to him. Shotgun's pretty easy to handle. It's pretty risky with the, the dual shot. As you can see, he's a little sporadic. There we go. No fanfarin aid. Just a quiet dip. <laughs> I, just, I just plugged him. We'll have several other endings to get, I assure you. We get the legend and beyond the grave. I guess it counts as a no-hit run, so I don't have to worry about doing that now. That's kind of lame. It, it should record deaths as hits as well. Since I guess it just bypasses the hit counter since you already died. You, I guess that's a pretty bad oversight because the legend is just, hey, you didn't get hit. And I died numerous times throughout that run, so I feel kind of meh. But hey, if you're doing this run 100% of Westerado and you wanted to know how to do it, just play as the brother. Apparently it gets you that. I do not remember doing that ever in another run, so there's that. Alright, so next up we'll team up with the Indians, I suppose. That's useful, right? And, uh, you know, pretty good vindication for them. The nice thing about this game is that it, it's pretty uninvolved. It, de it definitely feels like a NES game. Um, with some modern polish. But, I really like it. It's a solid 7 out of 10, as far as enjoyment. Enjoyment and everything goes, and that's, and that's high praise. I consider 5 out of 10 average. No, I considered Rogue Legacy 8. I considered Binding of Isaac an 8. Because uh, if I was doing decimals, they'd probably be lower than an 8. And this would probably be like a 725. But it's not. There's the brother right there. Hour 15 in Toto. As you can see, that one was touched two days ago. So we're going to go ahead and quit out. This has been Gaff or... <laughs> I almost said John196. This has been John or Gaff196. This has been my 100% achievement playthrough of Westerado. Double-barreled. Uh, fantastic game. Having a lot of fun with it. i uh, still got quite a few episodes left. We've got about 10... Probably not that many. Probably 7 or 8 runs. 
left to do. Maybe a little bit more. Got the legend there. 45 out of 79 achievements, 57%. I'm going to take a look at those real quick while I have you here and as I kind of do my outro here. Got to kill the sheriff yet, but we'll, we'll do that when we kill everyone. Um, I haven't beat the game as the sister of the Indian. Didn't get swift justice. Pacifist is a run in itself. Um, let's see. I gotta remember how to get the other endings. There's still Luke Skywalker and Tyler Durden. And there's another... There's the Indian ending, too. Hmm... There's a lot left to do. All right. Yeah, like I said, about seven runs left. Uh, really, honestly, the toughest one probably is... Uh, right again, the Banditos one. And um, just the no-hit ones. The legend beat the game without getting shot. I really didn't deserve that one, but I'll take it. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, as always, don't feel obligated to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate if you want to do that for me. That's very kind of you. But under, you're under no obligation. I'm not doing this for financial compensation. Uh, one day down the line, that'd be excellent. But uh, I'm not quite there yet. I don't quite have a handle on my own voice or sense of community or even what I want out of this channel in a wider ken. So for now, the scope remains diminutive, and, you know, as are my expectations. So, just remember you can't take your view back. And that's that's the thing that I, I want to see go up. Thank you for your view. Thank you for your patience, your kindness. I appreciate anything and everything that you wanted to devote uh, to me, however however meager it may be to you. Your, your time is, is truly a, a great thank you alone. And we'll see you next time.